What's going on boys and girls? It's your boy Don here and yes, do not adjust your TV sets. Do not adjust your screens. You are seeing it right, your boy Don, for the first time since the beginning of for Champions, I've hit Elite 2 for the very, very first time. I've been grinding for years, to say the least, week in, week out, to try and hit Elite. And not only, not only have we hit a very significant landmark of getting Elite 2 for the first time, but I've managed to stay in Elite in the third week in a row. And all of my fevers and all, um, since the beginning of Fight Champions, I've never consistently hit Elite every week. And it's the third week in a row your boy Don has hit Elite. And boys and girls, I, I am, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I'm just so overwhelmed, I'm so chuffed, I'm so happy, I, I, I'm just elated at the moment, almost speechless, so I'm going to find it quite difficult to do, to do this video, but, um, but your boy Don is here, Elite 2, I literally just finished playing my games about 4 o'clock in the morning UK time, it is now coming up to a, a, like 11.30, um, and the grind just doesn't stop boys and girls, the grind just does not stop. So, without further ado, as I said in the title of this video, um, I'm going to show you, um, give you some advice on how to get to Elite 2. So how to go from, I don't know, Silver 2, Gold 2 to Elite 2. Um, I'm going to show you the steps that I've taken, some of my some of my own advice, advice, advice that outside of FIFA and that you can bring into FIFA to help improve your performance. So if you are hyped for this video and if this is the first time you are here, first of all, if it is the first time you're here and it's the first time you're seeing me, and if you do like this video, then obviously drop, um, obviously subscribe to the video. Almost got lots of words there. Subscribe to the video so you do know when um, I do go live as well. Put the bell on so you know exactly when I do go live. But also subscribe as well because I'm going to be dropping a lot of different content. I've got a pack opening. My first Elite 2 pack opening is going to be here on this channel. So make sure you do subscribe so that you don't miss it. And as well, if you do like this video, if you've taken anything away from this video, drop a like on this video can we smash the like button on this so i know that you are enjoying the content and without further ado i'm going to show you i'm going to show you i'm going to give you this is just going to be off the top of my head i'm going to give you some advice on how to improve your performances in fight champions all right so whether whatever level that you're at uh whatever wherever you finish in the weekend league i'm just going to give you some of my my top tips to help you some tips you you already know and i'm just going to reinforce it some tips you'll be like really so, without further ado, let's get into the, let's get into the video. I'm going to show you my team first, all right? Well, I'm going to do a team talk about my team, all right? I'm going to show you my team, and then I'll walk you through um, uh, basically what my top my top tips are. All right, all right. So here is here is my team. My team has not really taken many cha much change since the beginning of FIFA 20. All right, it still stayed the same. Obviously, the first the first I think the first. The only up change I've made is to the right wing. I've got Admarez. I've sold him now. And I'll, I'll get into all of that uh, later on in the video. If it, if it does, if there, if I can remember to speak about Mares, I got him. I sold him. Not much. He didn't do much for them for me um, over the last two weeks. So I sold him. And obviously, I've got a Damar as as well. I wanted to try him out at right back. Saw on um, um, a few pro players were talking about. Him. A few players in the community were telling me about Damar to use him. So I thought, why not? Let's run a Damar. And I can't fault him. I cannot fault him. He done well. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about my team. I'm here to give you some advice in to how to improve your performances in FIFA 20. Now, I am going to show you my custom tactics. All right. Um, I have to get rid of Mares, unfortunately. Again, fucking Mares. Um, <laughs> these are my custom tactics. All right. I, if you don't know already, I am rocking the 442. Obviously, I don't use balance. I switch straight out of the balance. Um, but I'm using the 4-4-2, okay? I very rarely use this formation. I need to find a very attacking-minded 4-4-2 that gives me um, a lot of pressure, to uh, puts pressure on my opponent going forwards um, when I want to get the ball back and they're holding onto the ball, but still maintaining my shape. I need to think about what I'm going to do. I'm going to play around with a few things um, in terms of the formation. But I will say this, the 4-4-2 is my formation. Now, this is the first formation I go into, and this is going to be my very, very first tip, all right? Find a formation that works for you, all right? I've, I've, I've stressed this a few times in uh, for some of the people that come into my channel that, uh, you know, practice a formation, by all means, a normal team, but if you really are struggling in Div Rivals, for Champions, whatever mode it is, go into online seasons as well, 
use use that use that as a place to try and practice using different formations different teams you have a catalog you've got so many players that you can use you can use cristiano ronaldo uh, messi whatever you go barcelona real madrid juventus any any team you want to use to try out certain players and you can also try out certain tactics all right so if you're not too sure on certain formation tactics, go into online seasons. But I'm using the 4-4-2, and this is my custom tactics for the 4-4-2. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I am looking to adjust this over the next um, couple of days, all right? Because even though I hit Elite 2, there are some things I'm not... I am not. I am a possession player. So you probably think, well, that, that's probably why you're getting the Elite 2, Dom, because it's a possession-based team. I have always been a possession player. Um, but at the same time, I'm not happy with the fact that I do not hold on to the ball a lot. And I've got a lot of gaps in my team now. I'm not too sure. I might change my. I might change back to possession. I'm not too sure, but I like the fact that my players are making forward runs. But then again, at the same time, there are times where my players, for example, my left back got the ball and my left mid is making a running behind, which I don't like. So maybe I'll try possession. I'm not too sure. So my width is on. My width is on five. Uh, it gives me enough width as well. Especially a lot of people are using a narrow formation. When you're using, when you're. Um, on, on, on width, this is sorry, this is width defensively. When a lot of people are using a narrow narrow formation, um, I don't want I don't want my players too too wide, too uh, narrow, excuse me, because obviously one one thing that the narrow people that use the four one two one two is that they bring their full backs um, down the, down the wing and it leaves me a little bit exposed. So I think five is a nice balance, all right? It's, it's it's right in the middle. It's just a nice balance. It's not too not too narrow, not too wide, but it just gives me a very very nice balance and I have a bit of a fear of my players tripping over each other all right I don't know why but there's just something in this game where my players like to bundle over each other so get, I like to give them a bit of space and five seems nice and balanced I am not in this in this defense in this um game plan I like to keep my depth on four okay I want to win the ball back my ba my back balance my defensive style is balanced I don't want to drop back because obviously I, I want to win the ball where I want to press the ball in the middle of the pitch so when my opponent's got the ball and his defenders are at the halfway point i want to start the press right right early in the middle of the pitch not in my own half i don't want it i don't want to start the press in my own box i want to start the press in the midfield all right so my offensive style is also on balance um if you if you're if you're pretty good at triggering runs and bringing plays forward balance is pretty good but then then i have noticed as i said before a lot of my players make forward runs behind the line without me even asking to and I don't really want that rather than keeping the shape so maybe I might try out possession I'm not too sure just yet uh, width again is on balance everything in terms of balance I might I might bring my defensive width down I'm not too sure but in terms of my width is balance all right every I'm quite happy with my uh, my defensive and offensive width as balance so when ideally I would like I would like my players to tighten up in defense when we're defending and then to go a bit wider when we're attacking but I think five and five it seems to be working well for me I can't complain about the whip. I've never complained about the whip, so I'm not going to start now. Players in the box. 4-4-2. Now, the thing is with the 4-4-2 is that when someone sees you playing the 4-4-2, they'll want to drop back. Now, if you've got your width all the way up here thinking, oh yeah, I, this is going to um, cause me to score more goals. No. When you have a lot of players in the box, it, um, for me, if you have all of your players in the box as well as their players are defending their own box, how are you going to break down those three banks of of the strikers, midfielders, and defenders. It's going to be very, very difficult. So for me, I want all my players, I want the majority of my players outside the box and just my strikers in the box. It's just for the 4-4-2. I want my strikers in the, bo um, in the box and everyone else outside the box. So I can pull my players out. Um, I, I Neymar or Mbappe, pull him out, do a 1-2. I can use it to break it out and bait my opponent to pull his players out so I can get him behind and score. Or I crack a, a shot from outside the box, um, which I can do. Corners and uh, free kicks. Not too, I'm not too great with corners and free kicks if I'm really, I've scored a few corners, but I think I might drop this down to one. I'm not too sure just yet, but I might bring the, I might bring the free kicks up, up, up a little bit. Um, but with corners, I like, I, I tend to play a bit short. Headers are quite difficult this year. They were, they were very, very overpowered last year. I've scored a few this year, um, but I haven't figured out the best way to, to score a corner at the moment. I've got, I'm going to try and bring this down to one. At the moment it's at two, but I might bring it down to one and see how what I do. I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with these two just yet. So, player instructions. It's very, very defensive minded. And this just goes to show in terms of the way I like to play. All right. I am a defender. I am very defensive minded. 
So um, in, in pro clubs, I'm a defender as well. So in terms of my team, I like my team to be very defensive because I do think that the mechanics of this game is it favors attacking minded. Um, it's a very attacking minded game. All right, if you look at the stats, there's nothing about um, in all the team. There's nothing about clean sheets, successful tackles, and things like that. Everything is about attacking minded. So for me, I'd rather my players come back on defense. So Mbappe and Neymar come back on defense. Um, I've got my my wingers on comeback on defense as well. I usually last year I put my I put my wingers on game behind, but because I'm unbalanced already, they're gonna automatically get behind anyways. I am gonna probably see if I can if I play possession or leave as balance and say come short and I'll pull for the feet. I'm not too sure. But at the moment it's on balance. Come back on defense. Um Sissoko and Kante, I've been scoring quite a few goals. Not not so much this week actually, but last week and the week before, Kante and Sissoko were getting a lot of goals. Now, the issue with in this in the 4-4-2 flat is the fact that all these four players and your strikers will push up to try and get the goal, which leaves, leaves your back line very exposed. Now I'm gonna get into all that in a minute. But at the moment I've got him on cover centre because Sissoko and Kante gets involved in the goals and obviously if I lose the ball, Kante is the furthest player to try and get back and win the ball. And obviously uh, Mendy and, and uh, Adam Traore on stay back while attacking. Now, there is a problem with the 4-4-2. It can be countered, all right? As, as, of, as with every other formation, they can be countered. Um, the strength of the 4-4-2, in my opinion, are your centre mids. All right, the strength of the 442 is your sentiment. Your sentiments are so important to the 442. All right, because without the without your really good sentiment, um, the 442 will just break down. All right, you need you need one player that's um, you need two one player that gives you a bit of attacking options, quite good defensively, quite fast as well, and obviously another one who's quite defensive, not very good attacking wise, but can tackle as well. So they both kind of complement each other. Right. Um, I, ideally, I would I would go with two defensive minded players, but I would I think if you want goals as well from the middle, I would say go one attacking, one quite defensive um, centre mids, one on high medium, um, so one on medium high, and one uh, medium medium as well. Don't go over high medium because if you go over high medium centre mid, it leaves a, a very big gap in the um, in the four four two. So. This formation can get counted. And that's when I go into the 442, the second version. All right, it is very, 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 very defensive. All right. Now, the reason why I play in this formation is if I'm playing against someone in the 41212, and he's and and he or she is just pinging the ball around, tick attack of football. I want my players to stay very deep, very tight, and um, it's, it is it looks very as I like to say, very Brexit. All right, it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Everyone get back, everyone stay tight, and let's just pray. <laughs> it's just, and everyone drop back. When I've come up against someone who is absolutely fantastic and moving the ball, driven passes, playing one twos, doesn't care if there's delay because I'm still gonna play my football. This is this is the, the format. I wanna stay in the 442, and this is what basically what I try and do to try and win. Now I've stayed in this formation throughout the majority of the game and I've won those games one nil. All right, in those very, 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 very tight games, one. I would go drop back one, but I thought, you know what? No, I don't want to go drop back one because I don't want to be too deep. But defensively, for me, just paying attention to these three, um, three um, menus here, defensive style, width, and depth, is just to make sure that I'm sh I can I can stay tight and compact, and and they can't play in play in between my my players. Again, going into going into the box. Actually, let me jump. Should I jump down to three? I'm, I may leave that at three actually, and not one. Because I still want to score. I, I tend to go into this formation to try and see out the game. If I'm winning 1 0, I just want to see it out. So um, it is a very, very Brexit, like really, like, yo, Don, you need to calm down, man. But it's, hey, listen, when it comes to those sweaty games, trust me when I tell you, I've always said this football is not a popularity contest. It does, the results is not based on on popular, popular, your popularity, right? Yes, it would be nice if you play good football and you got really good tactics, but for me, these tactics work, so. I played it, it worked for me. I've taken down players, I got Elite 2, it works, all right? If you don't, if you're like, nah, nah, these tactics don't work, these tactics, I don't like it, I'd rather play uh, very attacking minded football and lose. I mean, it's up to you, but for me, I want to get the dub by any means necessary. I'll do what the game allows me to do to get that dub, all right? Uh, play instructions again, come back on defense, um, come back on defense. My wingers get. Um, Come back, come back, come back on defense as well and get him behind because it's very, very deep. As soon as I get the ball back, I want him to break. 
Kante and uh, Kante is a Soko. I've got them on. Stay back. Uh, cut pass. Stay back one second. Cut pass is late. Cover center. Cover center is very, very important. You've got to make sure cover center is on in both formations. And Mendy and Adam Traore. Adama Traore will stay back while attacking. So, just so for those who are who are interested in the 4-4-2, those are my 4-4-2 custom tactics. But I use both of them in game. Alright, I want to say no. I, I use this one predominantly, and that's it. I use both of them depending on the situation of, of the game. Alright, I would say, and that goes into my next advice is to make sure that you have a backup formation. Make sure you have a good understanding of, of all the formations. Because there was a time where I was happy with this custom tactic, but not the formation. I was losing, what, 2-0, I think it was? Changed to the 3-1... Is it 3-1-4-2? 3-4-1-2. I can't remember which one it was. A 3-5-2. I can't remember which one it was. But um, I just went really... I went really... Um, I, went, I went for it, and I ended up winning the game. What I will say, give a quick bit of advice... For anyone who's playing against someone who's a possession-based player, look at the look at what the instruction says when you bring the depth up. It says here, adjust your defensive shape to be balanced to keep your team in the middle of the pitch. Or if you bring up even more, it says here, adjust your defensive team shape to be in a high to be high to help put pressure on possession teams. Your backline will be high and vulnerable for long balls in behind. So be very, very careful because if someone's playing in a 4-3-3. They can play a ball in behind and you and obviously you need very very fast wingers to get back but hopefully you have um full backs that are high high or, or medium high but i would say what i did when i came up against someone who went one nil up very very early and he was a he was keeping the ball in defense i just brought my depth up i'm quite competent defensively one thing i will say fifa 20 allows me to do is to, is to defend and i'm quite good defensively so i was quite confident to bring the depth up up to try and win the ball um, from his from his defenders and then try and break a score. I did end up doing this. It did work and I ended up winning that game. I think 2-1, I think it was, or 2 or 3-2. I can't remember the actual score. So that's something maybe for you guys to think about. It's entirely up to you. Play around with the, the tactic and see um and see if it is see if it works it works for you guys all right so that's in regards to tactics so if you are if you do if you are um if you want to try the 442 it's there try the 442 if you like it all right play around with the play around with it i am looking to change the tactics for the 442 at some point i'm not entirely happy even though i've got a lead to i am not entirely happy just yet all right so try out let me know let me know what you think okay um just quickly just in terms of some more tips all right so we talked about finding a, a tactics and formations that you like right not every tactic fits someone fits everyone right so it's not one size fits all so this custom tactic use it if you like it fine if you don't adjust it all right i strongly advise you to adjust, adjust it so we talked about formations and tactics all right fuck champs games 30 games space out your games 10 games per day all right if you're just if you're just a beast right go go for, go 15 games and then not 15 games on saturday if you're a beast right go just you know you you go you go you, you just do it just do it all right but i would say for me 10 games and then i'll stop and then i'll, I'll wait for i wait until tomorrow when i'm fresh and play another game all right so space out your games in regards to spacing out your games as well and i've got to thank a lot of a few a lot of you guys uh, my twitch the twitch family um who were in the channel yesterday when i was in a very very tough game i was one nil down and i was one nil down in like within like three minutes of the first half and managed to get the equalizer in the 74th minute and immediately i was told pause the game pause the game take 30 seconds take a breath i got my i had my towel i had my towel here because my hands get very sweaty for some reason and i had my drink grab a drink take a deep breath and then i think i equalized and I ended up winning that game so space out your games take breaks all right so after that game stop for a minute go take a break five minutes go walk away do whatever you need to do a lot of people say this i've seen a lot of videos on youtube of rec people recommending you know other players take breaks take lots and lots of breaks in between your games all right it's a very very high intensive game mode right which gets a lot of stick recently but if you are going to play it there are ways for you to cope in this game mode and that is taking all right breaks space out your um games. in regards to playing play style all right this game does favor a lot of possession players Learn to tr learn to try and pass the ball in so many different in different ways. For example, the lofted passes, the driven passes, a normal pass. You know, try and used to go get used to trying to pass in so many different ways, and keeping the ball as well. Use the skill games to try and and keep the ball. All right, try and try different ways to pass the ball as well. All right, and in regards to skills, I would say there are three skills that you have to know. 
there are three skills that you must do in order one to kind of create the angle to um, pass past the ball for example like if someone's jockeying you you've got to learn some skills to try and create the angle to keep the ball moving all right the first skill i would recommend one is the uh, ball roll right if you're trying to pass the ball and someone's about to close down ball roll or if you want to try and get out a bit a bit of trouble or if he's going to dive in use the ball roll it really 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 is probably an underrated skill that not a lot of people use but it does give you a bit of time especially if you're under a bit of pressure just to kind of give you another like a 0.5 of a second to think about the next pass all right so ball roll second one is a no touch dribble the probably the most unpopular um criticized skill which is probably the most effective the no touch dribble for me it's i think for some people it might be lb or, or l1 on the playstation i'm using left trigger or l2 on the playstation and uh, use a no touch dribble so for example if you've uh, played a one two and you want someone to get in behind hold the no touch dribble it just it gives you like another second or so just to think about the next pass all right so look at look at try and using the um, the no touch dribble second fake shot all right you've got to learn to be able to use the fake shots okay so for example if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot one way fake it go the other way all right use the fake shots because or even over or oh, sorry not just a fake shot but fake shots stroke scoop turns yeah so if you've got your back towards the goal it's a four star skill move i think it is yeah it's a four star skill move if you've got your back towards the goal and defenders behind you use a scoop turn and, di and direct the way you want to turn scoop turn around him pal the shot up if you can do i don't i wouldn't recommend doing a low driven because i don't think they're very accurate uh, this year but pal pal the shot do a normal a normal shot and then obviously just hope, hope that it goes in um but yeah those those are the big three um skill moves that i would recommend um to use as well shooting as well shooting across goal is is not exactly accurate this year which is a shame because i like to play realistic football okay i don't like to use broken mechanics i don't like to overuse mechanics um but i like to play football and shooting this year the most overpowered shot the, mo the shot that's most likely is going to go in is near post shots now rule number one as a goalkeeper is to guard your near post that's well, not rule number one but one of the biggest rules is to guard your near post Right, so if someone's bearing down on goal from the right and right or left hand side, first thing the goalkeeper does is just guard his near post. But for some reason, that's the one shot that always goes in. It's something to do with the goalkeeper mechanics. The, that near post shots are just so overpowered. Last year, it was the, the no look, first time green time shots. This year, it's the near post shots. All right, so try and go for those near post shots, and um, and they're more likely to go to go in across the goal. They do go in, but they're not for me. They're not as it's it's not it's not as likely to go in as the ones who are near post as well all right um so near post shots practice different types of shots finesse shots near post shots low driven if you need to low driven finesse shots practice that as well all right if you don't know what low driven finesse shots are come over to my you come over to my twitch channel the link to my twitch channel is down below i will show you how to do a low driven i'll try to do a low driven finesse shot as well very overpowered you can power up the shot to the max i have powered up the shot to the max depending on the distance but i've powered the shot up real high and done a low driven finesse and it got it will go in it's such a really, really good overpowered shot and the goalkeeping animation kind of well it, it, they can save it if someone uses the you moves their goalkeeper but it's it's very very a powerful shot it's one of my favorite shots to do as well because it looks good um and what and what else what else as well can i can i recommend as well composure i think again the mental side of the game is is very much overlooked i try my best to stay away, stay away from a lot of the the twitter stuff i'm on twitter a lot and a lot of people complain about the game the delay i, I believe you me this game is far from perfect all right there is huge huge delay over the last two weeks first week no delay last two weeks of fight champions huge huge delay but i try not to focus on that um, stay composed when you're losing two weeks was it two weeks ago I was losing 3-0 to a really good opponent and it happened this week as well well not losing 3-0 but I had someone in the ch in the chat telling me to calm down just calm down and be patient and relax or you're complaining too much and it's ruining your game try and compose yourself I was 3-0 down against a really good opponent he outplayed me 60th minute I was still 3-0 down I stopped complaining composed myself took a breath change my formation change a few players around change a few tactics and i beat him 4-3 all right it did help that i had icon pele on loan but i still beat him 4-3 okay 
okay? Because if I was complaining, I'll, I'll be too busy focusing on complaining rather than focusing on what I have to do to win. And the same thing happened again um, this weekend. You know, I, I had people in the chat telling me just to calm down. Like, wasn't complaining, like, you know, going crazy, but I was just, like, getting frustrated. I was murmuring, complaining. But when I'm not murmuring, complaining, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what I can do to break someone down. Um, so try and stay composed. Don't rage at the game, all right? And I'm from, I don't know if, I, I hope I'm not the only person that says this, all right? Because especially on YouTube, rage videos are very, very popular and can be entertaining to watch. But for you as a player, it's not healthy to do. Um, I wouldn't recommend you raging at the game because it doesn't help you get it doesn't help you get better. It won't require your it, your players don't hear you, kinda. They won't hear you and they won't start playing better or anything like that. It, it really just chips away at your ability to win the game. So trying to stay composed is really, really, really important. And just a side note on, on composure: definitely have someone um, with you to. Um, to talk to you i am so blessed i'm so thankful that i have the uh, i have a good set of uh, friends in my community i was up last night from 11 o'clock at night up until four in the morning i had people coming in regulars friends family coming in for one hour for two hours some people stayed right from the beginning all the way to the very end just to, just to keep me going say come on don let's just do it let's go you can get it compose yourself some people say, all right, you've lost it, you'll win the next one, yeah? You need even you don't even have to have someone who's good at FIFA or knows FIFA, but someone just to just to, to cheer you on and, compose you, and to help you compose yourself. Find someone, go into a party or whatever it is in PlayStation that they do. Go into an Xbox, Xbox party, go into a party, go into a Discord, go on WhatsApp or whatever, start, start a phone call with someone and then start talking to them just to help you get through the, get through the games, yeah? Because I have, I have people like, even so much so that even though I'm a coach, I coach I coach football in real life, I coach football in FIFA, I, I still have some, I have people just to tell me, to coach me. I have friends that, that coach me, like for example, if I'm playing an opponent, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how to break them down. They're watching the game and they're telling me, look, they're not doing this. You can, you can go down that end and blah, 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 blah. You know, I had some really, really good, I had a top 100 player last night saying to me, go down the left hand, go left hand side, He's, he, he can't handle you on that side. What I do, within a couple of seconds later, went down the left side, scored two goals. Trust me when I tell you, having someone there helps, all right? Um, and also, uh, lastly, there are some other things. Um, if you guys are, have, if there are any other tips that you guys want to share, let me know down in, in, in the description down below. These, this is just coming off the top of my head. But one thing I will say, that definitely definitely helps in terms of your player performance all right staying composed um your mental fitness i would say start working out go for a run do some push-ups go do some weights even eat right have drinks drink a lot of water i would say extra i've been i'm i've started exercising now for the last month and a half i've joined i've joined this gym called f45 it's a very high intensive 45 minute workout I burn like over 900 calories every session. Um, it's it's absolutely probably the toughest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Okay, and I've been doing it for I've been doing it since big before Fever 20 started. So when it comes to fight champions, and again, I'm in a very pressured situation, not as serious as before. I'm able to cope because for some reason I, I just feel I don't know mentally in terms of working out. It does help you improve. It does give you the endorphins. Definitely help you. Um, get through so i would say definitely start working out try and stay healthy have a balanced diet okay try try and have a, i mean there are a lot of people that eat whatever they want and they're great players but for me i'm giving you my personal um my personal advice start working out drink eat right and it does improve your player performance i mean come on guys the proofs are here in the pudding boys last year you guys know last year i wasn't hit i was hitting gold two gold one gold three maybe elite three um but I, I'm, I'm now, I've, hit, I've hit Elite three times in a row. Now I've hit, hit Elite two, and I'm still working out. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely recommend doing that. And last but by no means least, you need a good team. You do, you do need a genuinely good team. Not me, you don't, you don't need like, like the Neymar. I've, yes, I've got Neymar and Mbappe. I've, I've, I've lost to teams who have had like Lucas Moura, who have used really, you know, teams that I've I've outplayed, I've um, out teamed, but they've outplayed me. But you need players that can help. I would say definitely, 
you need a player minimum four star skills but if you can get a player who's five star skills trust me i tell you i'm sorry five star weak foot sorry five star weak foots are so so important this year i cannot stress that if you can find if you can get a save up for a player an attacker with a five star weak foot trust me it is worth it it is so so worth it get a player that's got a five star weak foot four star weak foots i think have been nerfed and Barpe for me uh, his weak foot is not as strong as what I'd like it to be, but um, we'll see. But I know, and I have Son who plays on the wing as well. He says he hasn't got a great record, but he plays on the wing for me. But I might move him around and change him um, um, in the next coming weeks. But five star weak foot, having a player that works for you. All right, having players, you choose, having the right team in positions, um, for example. Like I said earlier on, I wouldn't have a high medium player as centre mid if you're in a 4 4 2. Um, ideally, you know, I know you probably think Adama, what's Adama doing at right back? He ain't got very good defensive stats. I don't know. Adama's an, uh, he's an anomaly. I, you know, I've had Nelson Schmidu, I've had Walker, and I've hit Elite 3. I went, I suddenly changed to a right back that's got very low, hardly any defensive work, um, work rates, and I hit Elite 2. Not work rates, but defensive stats. But having the right players in the right positions and knowing what to do and practice with this team. Do not change your team in the middle of the weekend league. I think that's another one. Do not change your team in the middle of the weekend league. All right? Try and keep your team. Win or lose, try and keep your team and make small adjustments. It might not be the personnel. It could be a tactical thing. If you've got a very, very weak team, um, adjust your tactics to complement them. Like if you've got very slow players, don't have such a high depth because they can't get back and they can't get forward. Try and have a, try and have a tactic that suits the team that you have, and um, and I hope and I hope that it does well for you boys and girls. Um, but that's about it. I can go on and on. There is, there's so many other tips I can provide you, but those are the main ones for me that I'm gonna uh, share with you guys. And I really hope it. I really really hope it, it helps. Um, especially whether you're in a silver one, silver two, gold three, gold two, gold one, elite, wherever it, wherever you're at, I just hope that this, this, um, these tactics, these, this little tips I've given you, and obviously sharing my custom tactics as well. I hope it does help. Let me know down in the comment section down below if um, what I've shared with you has helped you. Maybe in the next coming uh, in a few weeks, let me know. Come back in a few weeks and put a comment down. Let me know if this has helped you, or even come along to my Twitch channel. The link to my Twitch channel is down below. I am there streaming. I stream every day except for Mondays. So let me know how you guys are getting on and where you're finishing in the weekend league. I am coaching in FIFA. I've got about four coaching sessions this week with a few of the the lads that I'm just going to be giving advice. They are very very good players. So it's not to say that I'm a better player than them. They are very very good players. Me as a coach. My job is to help, and obviously my job is to make sure that you are, you are better than me. All right, I don't want to be just better than I don't want to be better than you because obviously all the time because I'm not doing my job right. But you need to now take my advice and be better than me. All right, that's basically what my coaching style is in regards to FIFA. All right, so um, if you want to see some of the coaching sessions, um, I am going to be live streaming on Twitch. Come and check it out if you want to um, if you want to listen to some advice I'm giving them then obviously by all means do so but yeah check me out on twitch man come and hang out on chill or just say hello to me man I'm, I'm, i like making friends i need friends <laughs> anyways uh without further ado guys i'm gonna call it there thank you so much for checking out this video if you do like this video again please please drop a like on this video and subscribe um if you are new and put the bell on so you know exactly when this video does go live so without further ado um i'll see you at the next video which was which will be my elite 2 pack opening video. I'll see you then. Peace.